Bridgerton has stuck to the book order of the original series of the same name. Until now, season three of the popular Netflix show follows the romance between Penelope Featherington, Nicola Coughlin, and Colin Bridgerton, Luke Newton. However, their story comes in the fourth novel of the series, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, published in 2002. Romancing Mr. Bridgerton is set over a decade after Penelope first falls in love with Colin and has her debut in the marriage mart. Meanwhile, season 3 takes place right after the events of season 2. I end the book. Penelope details how she first fell in love with Colin in 1812, two days shy of her 16th birthday. She nurses that love for him for 12 years, as the book takes place in 1824 when she is 28 years old and Colin is 33. That the topic of her age is a major focus in the book. She often refers to herself as a spinster and laments her life living at home with her mother, Portia Featherington, while her sisters have already married. She and Colin often point out each other's ages as well with Penelope teasing him for still being single while all the girls of the ton continue to vie for his attention that I end the show, however, Penelope is still presumably young, having only entered the marriage mart in season 1, making her somewhere around 19 or 20 in season 3. She has been in society for three seasons so she is not yet a spinster, though she does describe herself as a wallflower. Colin is also younger as the story takes place almost immediately after season 2 ended, while most of the plot lines remain the same, there are some key differences, such as the big reveal of who Lady Whistledown truly is, between the beloved book and its adaptation, from Penelope's age to her big secret, here's everything to know about the differences between Bridgerton season 3 and the book it is based on.